Yo, what up everyone? Amir Rahim here, owner of Rapping and Snacking. Let's get into another video today. This is going to be for Jay-Z's birthday, December 4th. I got vinyl, tape, CDs, a shirt, VHSs, magazines, a bunch, bunch, a bunch of stuff. Please make sure to like the video. Also, subscribe to the channel. Helps out a lot. Appreciate y'all. But let's go ahead and get into it. Also, hit me up on Instagram at Rapping and Snacking. So first off, going to start off with the vinyl here. And we got Reasonable Doubt, his debut album from 1996. This is the original pressing from 1996. And I also did do a Reasonable, Reasonable Doubt collection video where I show everything I have from the CDs to vinyl in more detail and tapes. So I'll go ahead and link that up for y'all to see so I don't bore y'all with all the specifics. But this is the original 1996 pressing. And then right here, I also have another pressing, which is a um, unknown variant pressing, came out in a just unknown year. Um, and I'm just not sure what it is, but this is the original 1996 pressing. Uh, so this is like just a variant, possibly bootleg. But boom, got both of these here. Awesome, awesome, awesome album. I'm gonna try not to review these albums uh, because it's just gonna be a very long video if I do that. And I got a bunch of stuff, so I wanna get through it. Next up, we got his second album right here, In My Lifetime, Volume 1. This is when he starts off naming his albums with volumes, and this would be Volume 1, the 1997 release. Pretty dope album, not one that a lot of people would put in their top three or maybe even top five, but it definitely does have some strong cuts on it. Boom. Moving on, we got his third album. This would be Volume 2, Hard Knock Life. Of the three volumes, volume one, two, and three, I'd probably go and have this as my favorite of the three. It's pretty good stuff. Um, also love the cover here, him on the car with the suit, everything cool. And boom, 1998 Jay-Z. Next up, we got volume three, The Life and Times of S. Carter right here. Boom, boom. Got the Jesus piece hanging. And yeah. Another pretty cool album. It's got, it's got some throwaways, but it's also got some good stuff. Vinyl right there. Original pressing so far for all these records. Then next up for his next album on vinyl, I do have the Jay-Z, the Dynasty, the Rock La Familia. This is pretty much like a compilation album, although it is named a Jay-Z album. Uh, it's pretty much a compilation album where he just has a bunch of Rockefeller artists and a bunch of features on here and a bunch of also Rockefeller uh, producers on here. But boom, Jay-Z, that fifth album of his. And then next up, we got an album that a lot of people claim or would say is his best i'm not sure if i'd go there i'd definitely say this is a top three jay-z album right here but this is the blueprint and just a classic from 2001 it also has the diss on it the takeover which aims at nas and mob deep and and you know it's a great 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 album i do also have a video on this showing my blueprint collection i do have this on black vinyl and i also have it on blue vinyl too so go ahead and I'll link that up if y'all want to check that out. I show it in more detail. That's why I have two pressings. One's on black vinyl, one's on blue vinyl. But no differences aside from that, really. Next up, we got Blueprint 2, The Gift and the Curse. And this was his first double album, which basically means that when they dropped the CD, it was um, on two CDs and the vinyl was on uh, more than two two records i'm kind of blanking here two looks like four records yeah four records right here so boom the gift and the curse up to this point in his discography i'd probably say this is my least favorite album has a lot of fluff um really i mean he's probably i don't know why he went with a double album angle here but you know it's got some joints on it but boom right there gatefold Moving on, I actually have the Jay-Z Black Album, which this might be my favorite Jay-Z album. And then on top of that, I also have the acapella. So boom, incredible, incredible, incredible album by Jay-Z. Possibly my favorite in his catalog. It's really, really, really remarkable. And this was supposed to be his retirement album. I think a lot of people forget, maybe even some of the younger generation, but this was supposed to be his retirement album. This was released in 2003. And his next album didn't come out till 2006, which is the one I'm about to bring up right here. 
keep in mind though he was still coming out and doing features and a bunch of other stuff uh collaborations in this time frame but his next album wasn't until this one kingdom come which was 2006 and to be honest this is mm, not that good of an album in my opinion i'd say this is possibly his worst maybe ahead of blueprint too but you know they're like just like most jay-z albums it's got joints on it uh that were great for radio and it's got joints on it that were just good independent of radio as well that maybe weren't singles so let's go ahead and put some of these down um and get into the next one so next album i have here would be magna carta holy grail as you can probably tell i didn't have um uh, the albums in between this on vinyl, but I have Magna Carta Holy Grail right here. This is still sealed. It does come with, um, I believe, a seven inch single in between uh, here. I didn't want to open it. I'm going to go ahead and, and buy another one and open that one for for this one, though. I did want to keep it sealed, but boom, I have that. And then next up, I do have 444 on vinyl. This, I also did a video on my 444 collection because there are some interesting things on here. This vinyl is a bootleg, as I state in that video. Uh, I'll go ahead and link that for y'all to check out. But 444 is actually one of my favorite Jay-Z albums. Maybe the fourth, maybe the fifth. Kind of depends on the day, but it was really, really, really good. And as of now, this is his latest uh solo album that he's released incredible album and if i recall it was 2017 next up in here i do have the jay-z and kanye west watch the throne now this is actually of all the records that i've shown this is the rarest so far this i've seen go for over 100 150 dollars uh for sale this is actually still sealed it does have you know some of the plastic is open right here a little slit but nonetheless it's still sealed um I should probably get another one to open that, but this one I, I do want to uh, keep sealed. But really, really dope album, Jay-Z and Kanye West. I remember um, when Brothers in Paris dropped and Otis dropped, everyone was bumping that at every party. Those songs were playing. Next up, we got R. Kelly and Jay-Z. We got the best of both worlds right here. And then we have Unfinished Business. I know saying R. Kelly's name is pretty taboo these days, but regardless, they did release music in this era. Both on vinyl right there. And then next up, I wanted to show uh, this soundtrack right here. Jay-Z's The Streets is Watching soundtrack. Boom, just want to give a little love to that as well. And then those are the vinyl albums. Let me go ahead and pull up the singles too right here. Let's go ahead and see. All right. So, first single that I want to show here, we got Jay-Z's Ain't No Playa. Like I said, this is also part of my Reasonable Doubt collection video. Ain't No Playa is, is in that video right here. But it's also interesting because, as you can see, this is pretty much a more generic um, cover, right? But then you get this Ain't No Playa, and you have a different image, right? But on top of that, those who are familiar with Jay-Z's catalog for Dead Presidents, he also uses the same single cover, which I find very interesting from a marketing perspective. I'm not sure who's in charge of that, why they did that. But it's just a little fun fact about this single. So boom, you can check that out right there. And then you'll see right here, look at this. Ain't no play at and a Presidents. Why they did that, I'm not entirely sure. But it's history nonetheless. Very, very interesting. And reminder, Dead Presidents is not the same as the Reasonable Doubt single. The Reasonable Doubt single is Dead Presidents 2. So both very, very, very similar, but they are different. Both are incredible. Not sure which one I prefer over the other, but Dead Presidents on vinyl right there. And we got, sticking with the Reasonable Doubt era, we got Can't Knock the Hustle. You see him still sporting uh, the same fit from the Reasonable Doubt cover. And boom, boom, boom. Mary J's on this track. Dope stuff. And we got the Can't Knock the Hustle Fool's Paradise remix on vinyl too. So boom. This made it to, this made it to, I believe, the European edition 
um, copies of the album. So this was not on the U.S. pressings of the album, but this was pressed on some international copies that were not in the United States, at least not in the original pressings. And then we got possibly my favorite song from Reasonable Doubt right here. This would be Feeling It. Always loved the piano, loved the vibe of the song, loved the chorus. Jay-Z is flowing. Incredible stuff. Jay-Z is killing it in this era. And then moving on to his next album, this would be the single Sunshine right here. Um, and yeah, Sunshine was a pretty cool song. Haven't heard that in a minute, but boom, there you have it. And then we got right here, The City Is Mine featuring Blackstreet, another single with Jay-Z, boom, boom, boom. But on top of that, we do have another pressing of The City Is Mine. As you can see, they are different covers. This one I know for sure was pressed in the European Union, and this one was US, hmm. I believe this is US, it may be some other, yeah, this is the U.S. pressing. So the U.S. pressing, as you can see, sports this cover. The European Union sports this cover. It's possible that there are other covers. I'm not remembering off the top of my head, but boom. Next up, we got Hard Knock Life. This was a popular song. It was always interesting when he was sampling Annie. Uh, but it is a banger, and I also love when Nipsey Hussle redid this and Jay-Z uh, also let Nipsey do that. I thought that was super awesome. Dope, dope, dope track. And then going on to a song that maybe not as many people know because this wasn't on an official album. I think this may have made it to um, like certain pressings of albums, but not on the standard original track list. This would be Wishing on a Star by Jay-Z. Always loved uh, the sample on this. I love Jay-Z's lyricism on this. Just a really, really, really dope song that I feel like not everyone knows about. So make sure to pause this video, check that out if you haven't, and then come back after you listen to it. Next up, we got one from the Rock La Familia album, and this is I Just Wanna Love You. Give it to me. This is just one of those like club tracks it has a lot of rotation still gets played to this day it's a pretty dope song neptune's on the beat and yeah cool 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 stuff right here boom park a lot pimpin's also on here hey poppy's on here boom next up we got one of my personal favorite jay-z tracks and this is girls 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 it also has big pimpin on a b-side here but girls 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 from the blueprint album is one of my favorite jay-z songs of all time I'm not sure if it's my favorite from the Blueprint album, but it's really, really, really dope. Awesome, awesome, awesome song. And then we got another track from Blueprint. This is Izzo Hova. It also has You Don't Know on the B side, which is another like amazing song from the album. Izzo, um, I like the song. I'm not the craziest about the chorus, but it's still a good song nonetheless. Boom. Then next up we have 03 Bonnie and Clyde. This is with Jay Z. This is also with Beyonce. This song I'm not the biggest fan of. I hope people who listen to this do understand that um, Tupac did have this on the Machiavelli album, which was titled Me and My Girlfriend, which I think is far superior to this track. However, you know, it's, it's decent, right? Um, but the You Don't Know remix featuring MOP is definitely better than the A side, in my opinion. But there you have that. Next up, we're getting into the Black Album, and we have Change Clothes by Jay-Z. Uh, not my favorite song from the album, by any means. Definitely in the lower tier of the album, but have it on vinyl nonetheless. And it's got Excuse Me, Miss on the B-side as well as I Just Want to Love You, Give It To Me. And then next up, we got R. Kelly and Jay-Z, Take You Home With Me, and Get This Money. Boom. So those are my vinyl singles, but I have some more vinyl singles right here. Moving into the more generic uh, sphere of his singles, uh, these are the ones with pretty much either the label sleeves, the black sleeves, the white sleeves, not the fancy artwork, um, but still Jay-Z's music. Nonetheless, we have In My Lifetime, which... This is a really, really, really great Jay-Z song. Um, Pre-Reasonable Doubt. I love the Jay-Z 
uh, you know, on the bottle of champagne. I think that's awesome. As you can see, this is not on Rockefeller. This is on Payday. So this is just earlier Jay-Z. So if you haven't heard that, do yourself a favor. Check it out. Then we got Dead Presidents right here. This is actually Jay-Z's listening party, so it's got a few things on it, but it's got dead presidents, it's got politics as usual, feeling it, can I live? So there are some unique Jay-Z singles that maybe some of y'all haven't heard, maybe some songs y'all haven't heard. So do the knowledge, check it out. That's another reason is check out this channel. And if you're watching, make sure to like it right now, please. Moving on, we got Can't Knock the Hustle. Just talked about this. This is just a generic version. Boom. Not going to bore you all with it. Moving on, we have a label sleeve from Rockefeller Records. So as you can see here, it's got the cutout. And then on the back, we do have the Rockefeller Records logo. It's also got the promotional use only sign on there. It's not a sticker, though. It's just printed on the sleeve itself. A Million and One Questions is awesome. I really like that track. Uh, Premiere remix. Just... Good stuff right here. Moving on, we got Hard Knock Life. Just talked about this. This is still sealed. Awesome song. This one doesn't have the promotional um, text at the top. Moving on, what is this one? I just want to love you. Give it to me. Just talked about this. Boom. Then we got Izzo Hova. Now, this one's cool because if my memory is right, this is on blue vinyl. Yep. So, blue vinyl. So, all the other ones are black. This is blue, and it makes sense, you know, Rockefeller, they're all smart over there, all smart people, they knew how to promote music, they put this on blue because they're promoting the blue for now, and look at this, Izzo Hova is also in blue tech, so the thing that's great about certain artists is they know how to market, and they know what works, what sells, what works with the consumer, etc. Jay-Z uh, is a multi-millionaire, probably billionaire, I don't remember, I think he's a billionaire, for a reason. Moving on, we have the Takeover, which is the dope diss, as I just discussed, with the B-side Girls, Girls, Girls. Now, picking a favorite out of that is tough. I'd probably go Girls, Girls, Girls. Now, we got a song that's also a diss, but didn't make it to an album, and this would be super ugly, and we also uh, have People Are Talking on here, but uh, super ugly. Check that one out if you haven't. Boom, boom, boom. Just a plain white sleeve. Moving on, we got 99 Problems, which is one super dope Jay-Z song. But what a lot of Jay-Z fans do not know is Ice-T actually had a song called 99 Problems back in the early 90s um, from, was it his Home Invasion album, if I recall? But that is an incredible, incredible, incredible song. And in my opinion, even better than this. And, you know, it's just so great. So check out that Ice-T song if you haven't. But... This song is also great by Jay-Z. And it's got my first song on here, which is from the Black Album, which I love my first song. That's a great, great, great track. Then we got Dirt Off Your Shoulder. I mean, this song was everywhere when it came out. Uh, Timbaland massacred that beat. Jay-Z destroyed it. He did great. We got Encore on the B-side. Can't really go wrong. Speaking of which, perfectly segues into this. Jay-Z, Encore, boom. We got Lucifer on here as well as the B-side. Kanye West production on Lucifer is just excellent. One of my most played Jay-Z songs, that's for sure. I love the hype sticker right there. Love that. And then moving on, we got a single from American Gangster, and this is Blue Magic. So once again, the marketing is just incredible. They have it on blue vinyl. They have Blue Magic right here. They just put it in a clear sleeve just, you know, because people want to see the blue, right? Uh, this is just a way of marketing it, the, the blue record. But this is a dope track, man. And an underrated Jay-Z album would be American Gangster, in my opinion. All right, just got all the vinyl off the table. Time to get into the CDs and then the tapes right after. Got a bunch more Jay-Z stuff. And yeah. So, first off, we got Reasonable Doubt. This is not the 1996 pressing right here. As you can see, the dots are removed um, from his name. And this has the bonus track, Can I Live 2, on it. Um, but yeah, I still actually need the original pressing. Just don't have it. It's not that it's super hard to find. But boom, right there. And I also talked about it in that Reasonable Doubt video, like I've been saying. So make sure to check that out. It's way more in-depth and, and really uh, better. So we got In My Lifetime Volume 1 on CD. 
in my lifetime, or not in my lifetime, volume two, Hard Knock Life on CD. This one is slightly different because this is a double disc version. A double disc version, they had with this with some Def Jam releases. As you can see here, right here, we have this thing of ours. So this wasn't on every single pressing of um, the volume two album, but it is on this particular pressing. It is a little harder to find. I wouldn't say it's super hard to find, but it's got some bonus tracks on it. It's eight songs long, and boom, it's an addendum to the original. So boom, that's a double disc version of volume two. Next up for volume three, I actually have some interesting pressings here. Um, reason being because, as you can see here, this is a whiter cover, and this is a more gray cover. Um, hopefully, you all can see that in the video. I may actually just do a whole video on my volume three collection one day. But as you can see, that's that. These two pressings do have the 15 tracks on them. However, there is a different pressing which has 16 tracks on it and a different track list. Um, like on this pressing, which is from the European Union, for example, it has anything on it. And it also has Is That Yo Bitch with Twista and Missy Elliott. And it's got a few different things on it too. But uh, like I said, there are different pressings, so make sure to do the knowledge. Feel free to ask me. I answer all questions. Uh, but there are different pressings with different tracks and all that. This is Volume 3, Life and Times of S. Doc Carter. Moving on, we got the Rock La Familia album right here. Boom, boom, just like I spoke on the vinyl. Nothing crazy. Then we got two pressings of Blueprint. As you can see, we have the standard jewel case. And then we have the jewel case in the blue case. So like I said, just smart marketing right here. Got me, you know, now I have both cases. But the diff there is no difference in terms of actual track list. Same thing, same music, same greatness. Jay-Z, Blueprint, moving on, Blueprint 2. Like I said, somewhat of a lackluster album. This is not on your standard jewel case. It is on like a double jewel case. It's just what I call it. Not sure if that's the proper name, but boom. And then on top of that, I actually have a bootleg. This is from either Ukraine or Russia. This, they actually split it into two discs. We have disc one and we have disc two uh, right here, the gift and the curse. I just picked them up because they were cheap and I had it in like a big bundled order. So boom, these are just two bootlegs. Um, boom. Then we got Blueprint 2.1. This is the original US pressing right here. Boom. But then we have the UK edition. So as you can see, the color is slightly different. This also does have different tracks. And look at the back, a different color on the back as well. So like I said, always fun to do uh, the knowledge to find all these different pressings with different tracks that you may not have heard from these artists. This has a few bonus tracks. Excuse me, Miss Again, Stop, Beware, the Jay-Z Remix, Blueprint 2, and Bitches and Sisters. Um, but boom. Let's see what else we got. We have the Black Album. We have the Pressing, which most people have seen. And then we have this album, or album, this Pressing, which is just in a totally black case right here. Uh, these are both printed in the U.S. I know there are some in the European Union that um, also press it like this. But this is the one I have is from U.S. There's also some with um, stickers that came on the front. I just don't have that one. Next up, got a few different pressings of Jay-Z's Kingdom Come. Like I said, possibly my least favorite Jay-Z album. Maybe it's second least favorite. But anyways, here we have the original pressing right here. Boom, boom, 14 tracks. And then moving on, got the Super Jewel Box pressing. A Super Jewel Box. It sounds like it's something crazy, but it's really just a different style jewel case. Um, as you can see up here, it's slightly different than the actual jewel case. And then when you open it up... I can even open it look at how it's just different just the the way they the format is is different this US pressing does have a bonus disc which has the politics as usual track um, can knock the hustle and can I live this is just a super jewel box version which also has the bonus track 44 fours live from Radio City Hall and then here's just the Digipack version, which has got some pretty cool action going on. Boom, boom. So, 
that's all that is right there. It's also got two discs on it. So, like, dude, there's just so many freaking different pressings. This one also has the Kingdom Come DVD. So it's like, bro, you can have the same album like 20 different ways, and they're all different. It's just wild what, what, what they did. Um, let's go ahead and get to the next pressing. And like I said, if you have any questions, feel free to ask around. Ask me. Then we got Jay-Z's American Gangster, really underrated Jay-Z album, awesome stuff, original U.S. pressing. And then moving on, we got another super jewel box pressing, um, and this has the bonus track, or no, this is the same exact track list. To be honest, I don't remember why I bought this pressing. I think it was just really cheap, or maybe there was a slight difference, but I don't think so. I think I just got it for really cheap. Next up, we got one that I haven't talked about yet, and this would be the Blueprint 3, um, another Jay-Z album, which is, eh, it's, it's, eh, you know, it's not that great. I put it in, like, the Kingdom Come or Blueprint 2 um, kind of caliber. Then we got Jay-Z, Magna Carta, Holy Grail, got another, like, slip-in, slip-out action right here. Pretty cool stuff, pretty unique. Uh, also, just always love the casing for this. Really, really, really clean uh, packaging. Great stuff. Then next up, we got 444 by Jay-Z, his latest solo studio album. Really, really, really incredible. I did do a 444 collection, like I've said, video for that. But as you can see, I do have these from the actual 444 tour. Um, I talk about that more in depth in the video itself. And then on top of that, the CD, you can't even close it. The CD does have more tracks. Um, than the tape, if I recall, or the tape has more than the CD, one or the other. But I think the CD has three more bonus tracks. Moving on, this was an interesting time. I remember back in, was it middle school, this song or this EP was just everywhere. This is the Jay-Z and Linkin Park Collision Course uh, album or EP compilation, whatever you want to call it. A lot of people, you know, were listening to this who weren't necessarily fans of hip hop or even necessarily fans of rock music. Um, this kind of crossed the bridge and, and brought a lot of fans in from other genres. So this was very interesting. It's not my favorite. I prefer all the original songs, but it's still always fun to play with friends or people who don't listen to hip hop as much. Then we got Watch the Throne. I mean, the packaging on this is just insane. Um, the way that they did this was just super, super awesome. How it just comes out like that. You probably can't really tell. Uh, I'll actually do a video collection on this someday. And um, yeah, really dope album. And then we got his album with Beyonce, uh, Everything is Love by The Carters. Uh, really, I'm actually not really a fan of this album. But boom, there you have it. And then we got some mixtapes that maybe not everyone's seen. We have S. Carter, the remix, and then we got the S. Carter collection, two mixtapes. As you recall, he did have something going on with the Reebok. Boom, boom, boom. A lot of songs on here that a lot of y'all may have not have heard, so make sure to check that out if you have or if you haven't heard all Jay Z stuff uh, and you want to. Moving on, we're getting into some CD singles here. Now, I already talked about In My Lifetime, but this is it on CD single. As you can see, we got the bottle right here. Like I said, this is pre-Rockefeller Records. Dope, 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 dope song. Dead Presidents talked about that. This is not Dead Presidents 2. This is Dead Presidents number one. We got Feeling It by Jay-Z. Awesome track right there. The City Is Mine. Featuring Black Street, Boom, just some some really good singles, especially like like Feeling It and Dead Presidents, Who You Wit. This is from the um, movie soundtrack Sprung right here. It is a no cover jewel case, so it did not it was not issued with artwork, but it does have the back uh, track list right there. <clears throat> Now, moving on, we got Hard Knock Life Ghetto Anthem. And if you can recall, the vinyl was a different cover. This is him rolling in the whip, whereas the vinyl um, was him standing by the whip. So, boom, that's a slightly alternate cover. It's also got the Money Cash Hose remix as another track. Money Cash Hose is an excellent song. Then we got Jigga My Brother, 
on CD single. Both the same thing, just one has a hype sticker, one does not. So nothing crazy there. That's a dope track right there. It's also got When Will You See and What a Thug About on it and Memphis Bleak is... Boom. I mean, dude, every time I see this, girls, 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 just such a banger. Incredible song. Rolling the dice on the back. Jay-Z killing it. Next up, we got the track Jigga here. Boom. Promo on the back. Sticker on the jewel case. Excuse me, miss, right here, which is interesting because... um. It's a very similar cover to the 03 Bonnie and Clyde. And then it's also got Heart of the City Live on the B side. Then we got Excuse Me Miss again, which is La La La. This is produced by Neptunes. It was on the Bad Boys 2 soundtrack. Catchy track. Boom. And of the Jewel Case singles, I have Run This Town. This is actually a popular song. I do enjoy this one. Run This Town, actually, go ahead and listen to it again. Um... My good friend Soren Baker actually told me that the flow on here is very reminiscent of Project Pat, and I do agree with him there. Project Pat, the flow, uh, it does seem like Jay-Z did have some inspiration there. And it's also got DOA, Death of Auto-Tune, on the B side. Let me take some of these CDs off. I got some more CDs. Give me a sec. All right, got some CDs off the table. Had to get a sip of water freaking dying over here. Jeez. Now, got some more CD singles. First off, gonna start off with a slip case. This is Song Cry. Actually, really, really, really dope song by Jay Z. If I recall, this one actually, hip hop came up with the concept of hip hop since 1978. And uh, yeah, if I recall, he helped also write the hook. Hip hop's a dope dude. Shout out to him. Also, incredible song from The Blueprint. Moving on, we got a couple digi packs here. We have Guilty Until Proven Innocent and I Just Wanna Love You. Digi packs, which usually for CD singles, I don't see these too often, but there you have them nonetheless. Moving on, we got the J card sleeves. These most of these are either from European Union or the United Kingdom or Netherlands or Germany or something like that. But first off, we got Ain't No Play on J card. We got Can't Knock the Hustle. We got Hard Knock Life. We got Wishing on a Star. Wishing on a Star is two different covers. So check this out. We have the cover, which I showed you on the vinyl, and then we have just this plain, like, bronze-ish cover. Like I said, really, really, really good songs. Uh, check them out. And they do have a couple different remixes. I don't remember my favorite version of it. I think it's just the original. Really good song, though. Check it out. I'm not playing around. Then we got the track Anything on here. Dope song. Izzo, Hova, 03, Bonnie and Clyde with a slightly different cover, if you can recall earlier from this video. We got 99 Problems with Dirt Off Your Shoulder, Super Banger. I mean, imagine both those on the same CD. It's insane. Just incredible singles right there. We got Change Clothes right there. And then we got Numb slash Encore, Jay-Z and Linkin Park. Those are my CDs. Now we're going to go ahead and get into tapes. If you are now joining me for the tape portion of the video, I'm going to remind you to subscribe to the channel. Please like the video. Hit me up on Instagram, at Rappin' and Snack, and let's get into it. We have two different pressings of Reasonable Doubt on cassette tape. Like I said, I have that video. I had it linked in the beginning of this. Check that video out because I do go more in detail. This one on my left is the original 1996 pressing of Reasonable Doubt. Has the original 14 track track list. And then we have this one right here. If you can tell right here, just from the get go, you can tell that the, the dots aren't over. The accent isn't over the Y on this pressing while it's on this pressing. This also is 14 tracks while this is 15 because it includes Can I Live 2, among other differences, right? Awesome album by Jay-Z, classic material, started a dynasty. Moving on, we have In My Lifetime Volume 1 right here. Volume 2, Hard Knock Life. Let's do a little action here on the table. Then we got Volume 3. We got Rock La Familia. We got Blueprint. Scratch that. We got two Blueprints. Then we got Blueprint 2 and Blueprint 2, the second tape, because this was a two album double album boom 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 uh don't want to knock it all over and look stupid but we're gonna go ahead and continue with the black album which this 
was not pressed in the US. Yeah, this is a Russian pressing that I have. I'm not sure if this was pressed in the US. I'm not remembering off top of my head, but also it's dope out the blueprint before I just scoot it on out of here. It is on blue cassette tape. That is in my blueprint collection video. Super dope album, as I've stated many times in the video. Next up, we got 444 on cassette tape right here. It's like on a black shell with orange. Uh, yeah, really dope album with 444. Awesome stuff. We got the R. Kelly and Jay-Z Best of Both Worlds, and then we got the Shreets' Watching soundtrack. Yes, sir. Let's move on. We have... This actually isn't really a Jay-Z thing, but it's Rockefeller Records, so I just wanted to go ahead and throw in this sampler. It's a Def Jam and Rockefeller Records sampler from 2000, the year 2000. But just wanted to throw it in there because I feel like I wouldn't show it in any other video. We got the Can't Knock the Hustle cassette single, Feeling It cassette single, City Is Mine, Hard Knock Life Ghetto Anthem, Jigga My Brother, and then a different cover for dead presidents right here if you can recall he was in the car now he's standing next to a car for dead presidents right here those are my cassette tapes let me go ahead and pull up some magazines vhs's books and a bunch of other stuff real quick all right now that i get all the tapes off the table i do have some vhs's and dvds and the rest of my stuff up here Starting off with the VHS, we got The Streets is watching movie on VHS tape. Boom, boom, boom right there. Backstage, although this is not just solely Jay-Z, this is still awesome because it got DMX, Method Man, Red Man, Hove, Ja Rule, Beanie Siegel, DJ Clue, Memphis Bleak. Dope, dope, dope stuff. If you haven't seen this, I advise you to do. And then next up, we got the Jay-Z Fade to Black on DVD right here boom really 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 dope as well next up we have two books by jay-z both are the same but both are also different let me explain why they're both the same book in the sense that they are both decoded by jay-z uh this is the original i do have this on hardcover right here and then this one is paperback but this is the uh, one that released after because as you can see as the hype sticker does say it's got 16 new pages it also does have some songs on it as well um, definitely go ahead and check this one out if you'd uh, prefer to have you know more content yeah really really dope stuff uh, for any Jay-Z fan this is a must really really cool decoded Moving on, we're going to get into some magazines that I have that feature Jay-Z on it. Um, these aren't necessarily, you know, obviously there's so many articles written on Jay-Z, but I'm only going to choose uh, the magazines that have him featured on the cover. First off here, I have the magazine Blaze. Um, this was not a magazine that's as popular as, for example, The Source or Vibe or Double XL, but The Blaze did have a run as well. Right there, boom, boom, boom. Also love this cover with Hope on it. Moving on, we have one that mo many of y'all possibly seen. We have Jay-Z right here, The Source, and this was in January of 2000. Uh, the Blaze issue was in 1999. Boom, boom, says December slash January of 99. Then for moving on, we got him on the cover of The Vibe. This is January of 2004. As you can see, Jay-Z retires in a question mark uh, right there because this is after the Black Album era. And in my opinion, I don't think rappers really ever retire. Um, but that's just me, and that's a topic for another day. Moving on, we got him on the Double XL cover. We got a bunch of dope artists on here. We have Dame Dash. We got Bleak, Beanie, Emil. Yes, sir. Jay-Z and the Family. Hard Rock Life, a play on Hard Knock Life. And this was the huh, December of 1999 issue. Boom. Moving on, we got another double XL right here. Just Jay-Z solo on the cover. Untouchable. December of 2002, boom, double XL, another double XL right here. 
exclusive interview. Is this the end for the God MC? And this is December 2003 because he was retired at this point, right? That, that's what everyone was sa saying. It was selling a bunch for Jay-Z and for publications as well. Moving on, this is a more, uh, this is years later. This is also Jay-Z on Double XL, and this is Return of the Hustle, December of 2007. And then moving up here, you got Jay Z standing tall in New York. Is he bigger than hip hop? That's what they're saying. October of 2009, Double XL. <clears throat> and then we got him on Rolling Stone right here. This was January of 2013. Um, and this I remember. He shared the cover. I believe it was him, Eminem, Tupac, and the Notorious B.I.G. It was all the same magazine, just different covers. And Jay-Z was on uh, one of the covers. And that would be this one right here. Those are my magazines, books, DVDs, and VHSs. Let me go ahead and grab one last thing. All right, now that I got all that, I do have some merch here. I am wearing a Rockefeller jacket. This was actually from the 444 tour. Uh, really, really, really enjoy this jacket. It's awesome. I do shout it out and actually show it up in close uh, in my 444 video. But really, really, really clean varsity jacket. Then I also do have this t-shirt that uh, my guys from Cities US hooked me up with right here. It's Jay-Z with some gats right here. Boom, boom. Jay-Z right there. You got... His bling that says his name. Pretty cool shirt. Really uh, was happy when he blessed me with this. But yeah, I do have some other Jay-Z stuff that I that I just didn't want to pull out for shirts that are just older, kind of like bootleg t-shirts. Uh, pretty cool stuff. But as far as all my Jay-Z stuff, I mean, I just showed a bunch of CDs and vinyl and tapes and the Jay-Z collection is always growing. Um, I probably forgot a bunch of stuff. This is all things that I kind of just remembered off the top of my head. So in my next year's video, you'll probably see some more stuff. Um, but please make sure to like the video. Please subscribe. Drop some love on the channel. Let me know your favorite Jay-Z album or whatever. And if you have any questions, because I did just drop a bunch of different pressings and a bunch of stuff, feel free to ask me. I try and reply to everybody. But show the love on the Instagram at Rappin' and Snackin'. Hit me up on all that good stuff. Appreciate y'all, and I will talk to y'all next time. Peace.